it's your girl, Fairy Queens here, and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be showing you the new Lemuria bundle that was literally just released less than an hour ago. It's called the Sky City Bundle, and it comes with the Sky City Estates, the Sky Sedan Deluxe Mount, the iPal Pet, the Outfit of Tomorrow, the Arbalaster 3000 Weapon, and one month of membership or 5,000 crowns. Obviously, I got the crowns. So I've already seen some leaked images of this castle. However, I have not seen it in person, obviously, because it just came out. But I have some ideas. So it's called the Sky City Estates which I think is going to be very similar to the Ever After Village or the Caramel Bundle. You know how there were like different houses in it? I think that's kind of like a reoccurring theme now. So I have a feeling it's not just going to be one big house that we decorate, hence the S because it's plural. So if you enjoy decorating several different houses, this is going to be the bundle for you. Anyway, I know you're probably so tired of listening to me talk and you just want to see it. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Here we have the Tomorrow Attire, the Sky City Estates, the iPal, the Sky Sedan Deluxe, and the additional Castle Elixir, and the Arbalaster 3000. I don't know why, that is like so hard for me to say. So here's the attire. Whoa, my hair just showed. Okay, that was really weird. Here's the attire. Oh my god, it's actually like kind of cute. It kind of reminds me of Imperia, but it's honestly kind of cute. These are the stats for 140. I can't really judge if they're great or not. So I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. Let me know if they're trash. They don't seem terrible. I mean, the robe gives a lot of health. Let's go ahead and redeem it. And then we get the Sky City Estate. Yay! Oh! <laughs> okay, one minute. Yay! There we go. The Sky City Estate. Let's redeem it. The iPal. It's like a drone. This looks so futuristic. I feel like Lemuria is like Imperia but amplified. Okay, I know you guys are just going to love this mount, so take a look at it. Here we go. It's gotta load in. Look at the side. Lemuria, 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 Lemuria. Look how futuristic this is. Oh my god. Ah! And then here is the Arbalaster 3000. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Here's the stats for 140. It gives six peers. Here's the hat, the cap of tomorrow. I'm gonna put it on. The jumpsuit of tomorrow. And the boots of tomorrow with the Arbalaster 3000. It kind of looks like the witch hunter wand, too. Here's Sheriff Bandit. I bet we jump really weird. Oh my god, we do. <laughs> I don't like this jump animation. It's so weird. It's like jumping jacks. And oh my god, the Sky Sedan Deluxe. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. It goes 50% speed. I'm kind of disappointed that it's not at least a two-person mount. It's kind of weird because she's like driving right in the center of the car, which doesn't really make sense. It would have been great if it were a two-person mount, but it's all right. It's really awesome. This might be one of my favorite mounts in game. Is it dieable? I doubt it's dieable, but like, is it dieable? You know I would make it pink. You know I would make it pink. No, it's not dieable. But the gear is. So let's see what that looks like. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I found a glitch, guys. I found a glitch. King Xyla, if you're watching this, I found a glitch. You see how it says pink? Well, it's actually not pink. It's orange. And it is doing the same with the trim as well. I don't know if it'll do the same for the boots. Oh my god, it's doing the exact same for the boots. The hat itself works, though. But the robe and the boots are glitched. So King's Isle, please fix it. I'm wearing like dark orange, which is a boy color. You can literally see the difference. Like whenever you go to orange, it's the light orange, which is the orange that everyone has. And then whenever you go to the pink, it's a dark orange. So actually, I I'm gonna actually wear it because I don't know if this is gonna get patched or not. And I think it's like, it's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna wear it. <laughs> Wow, I'm literally wearing a boy color right now. This is crazy. This is a glitch. But you know what that means? Maybe there's hope in the future for boys to wear pink. I mean, I'm wearing dark orange right now. All right, let's go check out the Sky City Estates. I know you are all so excited to see it, and I am too. 
Okay, I don't think there's any music here, but let me see. Okay, there's not. Sometimes there's music in houses, but there's not any in this one. Okay, so I'm actually going to get off of my mount because I really want to give you guys an in-depth tour, and I just won't be able to do that whenever I'm on my 50% speed mount. So, wow. Okay, guys, this is beautiful. So as soon as you enter, we get greeted with the PvP arena circle, and it says, welcome. It's totally giving off, like, vacation resort vibes. That's what I feel like. And and then there's a nice little fishing pond over here. Oh my gosh, is this a cellar over here? I don't, should I go in it yet? Here, let's just go in it, let's go in it. Whoa, whoa, <gasps> I've been here before. I believe this was actually part of the Lemuria prequests. I've totally been here before. Press the ladder to climb it. Whoa, this literally, <gasps> there's even like, a little window in the walls. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. There's a kitchen. There's a real life kitchen. Does it work? Oh, okay, it doesn't work. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I, that would be asking for a lot. Whoa, look how it's like the textures are actually shiny. You see how whenever I move the screen, it's shiny? Wow, this is going to be so much fun to decorate. This is like a vacation house resort. Wow, this is awesome. I absolutely love this. And then there's the ladder to go back down into the basement. I'm gonna exit though, but this is awesome. I can't wait to decorate. Whenever you exit, it's kind of like floating. Do you see that? It's floating. You go down here, the house is literally floating. It's so futuristic. And then you go this way. There's some more floating cliffs. Wow. Oh my gosh. There's the entrance back over there. There's the front of that house. So this one's the main house because this is the one that it has the bank in. So this is the main house. It was really pink. I loved it. I love pink. This is going to be such a fun role play house. Like if anyone is interested in like role playing with different families, this is going to be awesome. Look at the new trees that we have. Let's go up here. Ooh. I don't even want to put my own wallpaper on here. Can you even? Ew, you can. I don't even want it. I like the default wallpaper. It gives me like really like 50s and 60s vibes. Especially the checkered. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is going to be such a good roleplay house. I know I've already said that, but like think of all the possibilities. Guys, I'm so excited for this house. The botanical gardens. You think of that. That is not really, like, that's hard to decorate to make into a house. But, like, these are houses. These are houses. They come with kitchens and several rooms. These are awesome. Oh, my God. Okay, here's the other house back here. This is the third and final house. Ooh, the vibes of this one are much more dark. Like, we have the red carpet and gray walls. I feel like I'm giving like a house tour. And then the kitchen is very monochromatic, very black and white. And then in here, we've got some nice hardwood. By the way, might I say that I love the fireplaces. And then here's the other room. So from what I've noticed, these houses seem to be like kind of copy and pasted but just like moved around a little bit. And then obviously the wallpapers and floors were changed. So the colors are pretty different. Let's tour the outside of the house one more time. Let's just follow this trail and see where it leads us. I don't feel like it really is gonna lead us anywhere. <laughs> nope. We just led right to this tree, very nice tree. And also, I mean, guys, look, we're literally floating. I mean, most houses in Wizard 101 are floating, but we're, we're like straight up in the clouds. Like, we are pretty high up, you guys. This is going to be an amazing house to decorate. It's really kind of giving me, like, 2010s vibes. You know how the main roleplay house in 2010s was, like, the Metropolitan Manor. This one's kind of like in a weird way, giving me similar vibes. I mean, the aesthetic does not look the same whatsoever, but it's just so cozy. This is amazing. I'm so glad that I bought this. Or I guess it could be a neighborhood. 
I, I don't really know what I want to do yet, but it's amazing. And look at the trees. Look how they have like circles in them. These don't look like any trees that I've ever seen in real life. They just don't really make sense. But you know, it's Wizard 101. They're not supposed to make sense. Plus, they're futuristic. They're from another dimension. This is amazing. I feel like Wizard 101 has definitely outdone themselves with this bundle. And I cannot wait to see everyone's reactions to this. I'm thrilled with it. If I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, it would definitely be a 10. This is amazing, and I'm so pumped for Lemuria. Let me know what you guys think about this bundle, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Bye!